join me in pledge allegiance to our flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Yeah, Ed, I was telling David I'm going to have to get used to not se you know, seconding motions. Uh, yeah. No, it's okay. yeah. <laughs> Since the first of the year. All right, to begin, we have some um, introductions of new staff members. Judy, I'll let you go first. Maybe the only one. Oh, yeah, that's right. First and last. No, last. <laughs> oh. Well, good morning. I'm Judy Eshman, Director of Job and Family Services. And with me this morning, I have two new employees. Um, the first employee is Judy Spear. She has a Bachelor of Arts degree in Psychology from Northern Kentucky University. Um, she has three and a half years experience working with special needs children and four years experience, customer service experience working at Jeff Wilder Auto Mall. We're very excited to have her join our team. Well, psych majors rock. <laughs> <laughs> and then we also have Viola Rice. Um, Viola attended Moorhead State University. She has an associate's in radiologic science and a bachelor's in university studies. She has lots of experience in the medical field. Um, she also is one of our adoptive and foster parents here in Claremont County. Mm -hmm. Both ladies will be working in the public assistance division, determining eligibility for benefits for families. So we're very happy to have them. Hey, welcome aboard. Yes, welcome. Glad to have you. Thanks for being a foster parent. Too. Absolutely. Thank you. All right, with our agenda, um, item number one is resolution number 58-16 for our paying our bills in the amount of five million seven hundred and seventy oh, 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 five thousand. I'm not used to being that low, so not having millions. <laughs> yeah, five thousand seven hundred seventy-six dollars and eighty-three cents. It's a motion to adopt resolution number 58-16. So moved. Oh, it's I'll, good to hear that. I'll second the motion. Mr. Humphrey? Aye. Mr. Yes. Mr. Proud? Almost jumped in. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> Item number two is adopting resolution number 59-16. Is there a motion to adopt it? Uh, so moved. Second. Mr. Ubel? Yes. Mr. Humphrey? Aye. Mr. Proud? Abstain. Item three, please. Item three is a recommendation for Brandon Hepner, Director of Information Systems Department, with my concurrence to adopt a revised table of organization for the Information Systems Department, which removes one position of a systems analyst two. Pay range C is outlined in Exhibit A, attached there two, and made a part thereof, effective 5 2 of 2016. Is there a motion then to um, approve the adoption of the revised table of organization for our um, ISD department as recommended? So moved. I'll second the motion. Mr. Humphrey? Aye. Mr. Hubel? Yes. Mr. Proud? Yay. Item four, please. Item four, a recommendation from Pam Havercross, Director of the Clermont County Emergency Management Agency, with my concurrence to authorize Pam Havercross for and on behalf of the Board of County Commissioners to execute a memorandum of understanding between the Ohio Department of Public Safety and the Claremont County Emergency Management Agency to provide school safety planners to the school districts located in Claremont County for the purpose of school emergency operations plan technical assistance with funding there for an amount not to exceed $4,000 to be provided by the Ohio Department of Public Safety through the fiscal year 2014. U.S. Department of Homeland Security State Homeland Security Program Grant effective from the date of last signature there on on 6-30 of 2016. So Steve, this would basically designate somebody at each school to handle the interactions with uh, PAM's department or what's the... This is, uh, this is setting up an agreement um, that allows the funding to flow through the county. Uh, to the school planners, to the emergency management planners, to assist our individual school district with the preparation of their emergency plans. Mm -hmm. But the school planners, uh, who takes care of setting them up? Each individual school district? or No, it's provided by the state of Ohio. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Will this work in conjunction at all, I know, with what we're doing with the auditor's office and the 360? The 360 will actually roll into their programs, correct, yes. Good. Well, the, the, each of the school districts is required to have a plan filed with the Attorney General's office, mm -hmm. and this is assisting each of them. If they choose to have the assistance, they don't have to use the assistance, but if they choose the assistance, they can help prepare those plans. Good. Is there a motion then to authorize um, Pam Havercross um, on behalf of the board to execute the reference memorandum of understanding between 
Ohio Department of Public Safety um, and the our county emergency management agency as recommended. So moved. Second. Mr. Yubel. Yes. Mr. Humphrey. Aye. Mr. Crowd. Yay. Item five, please. I file a request to various departments to join professional organizations and authorization for reimbursement of routine travel expenses. And we have the county coroner, Daryl Hawkins, the Association of Certified Fraud Examiners for $195. So moved. Nope. You jumped the gun. I it. jumped the gun. I'm okay. sorry. <laughs> I'm out of, I'm out of uh, <laughs> breath. You know what? You just saved me some breath. Go ahead. You want to second that? Or you moved I'll it. second that. Mr. Humphrey. Aye. Mr. Yubel. Yes. Mr. Proud. Yay. Well, I can tell who's anxious to be back. I love it. <laughs> Our training and travel. Item six, please. At the Claremont County Municipal Court. Jamie Lutzen, two days, Columbus, Ohio, for the County Commission Association of Ohio Opiate Epi Economic Epidemic Try Symposium, $220.07. Claremont County Water Resources Department, Bill Byer, Dwight Culberson, Greg Costello, David Linville, Tony Meek, Bill Nyer, Jim Pinnell, Kevin Saunders, and Terry Stockelman, one day, Fairfield, Ohio, for the Southwest Ohio Water and Environmental Association's section meeting, uh, to exceed $300. Summer County Facilities Management Department, Fleet Maintenance Division, Jennifer Morgan, one day, National Association of Fleet Administrators, Tri-State May Chapter Meeting, estimated to exceed zero. Department of Job and Family Services, Nicole McClure and Angela Hudson, six days, Anaheim, California, for the National Association of Drug Court Professionals, annual training conference, estimated not to exceed $1,298.32. Information Systems Department, David Specht, one day, Batavia, Ohio, for the Claremont County Adult First Aid and CPR Certification Training, not to exceed $32. Department of Community Economic Development, Andy Kushta, three days, Cleveland, Ohio, for the 2016 Ohio Conference on Freight. Total expenses not to exceed $1,024.07. Department of Community Economic Development, Office of Public Information, Kathleen Williams, one day, the 2016 Ohio Opiate Conference, not to exceed $169.04. Board of County Commissioners, Steve Raybolt, Tom Idol, one day, Cincinnati, Ohio, for the Claremont Chamber of Commerce 2016 June Legislative Breakfast, not to exceed $50. All right, is there a motion to approve our tra training and travel requests as recommended? I'll make the motion for item six. Second. Mr. Hubert. Yes. Mr. Humphrey. Aye. Mr. Proud. Yay. Um, item seven, please. I'm seventh training and travel request for Board of County Commissioners for Commissioner Proud. Two days, Columbus, Ohio, for the Ohio Association of County Behavioral Health Authorities, Ohio's 2016 Opiate Conference. Not to exceed $321.07. Is there a motion to approve the training and travel request? So moved. I'll second the motion. Mr. Humphrey? Aye. Mr. Yubel? Yes. Mr. Proud? Abstain. Item 8, please. Also, travel and training request for Board of County Commissioners for Commissioner Ubel, one day Columbus, Ohio, for the Ohio Association of County Behavioral Health Authorities, estimated not to exceed $279.60. Is there a motion to approve the training and travel request? So moved. Second. Mr. Humphrey? Aye. Mr. Proud? Yay. Mr. Ubel? Abstain. All right, personal actions. Item 9, please. For the Department of Job and Family Services, Linda Ortlieb, clerical specialist. Uh, Retirement, effective 331. Department of Public Safety Services, Shauna Holan, emergency resource technician, a new hire to a vacant position, effective 6 6. Daniel Young, the second, emergency resource technician, a new hire to a new position, effective 523. In the Water Resources Department, Eric Williams, uh, summer intern, rehire to a vacant position, effective 523. Is there a motion to approve the personal actions as recommended? So moved. Second. Mr. Yubel. Yes. Mr. Humphrey? Aye. Mr. Proud? Yay. Do we have any add-ons? I do not. Judy, any add-ons? Oh, no. We just have a full slate on Wednesday. Okay. All right. We'll take a five-minute recess for our minutes to be prepared. All right. Let the record show the board came out of recess and has resumed a regular session. And we do have the minutes from today's session in front of us. So when you all are ready, entertain a motion to approve the minutes. Make a motion. We approve the minutes. I will second that motion. Mr. Humphrey? Aye. Mr. Ubel? Yes. Mr. Proud? Yay. No other business? Yes, no, sir. All right. Is there a motion to adjourn today's session? I'll make the motion to adjourn. Second. Mr. Ubel? Yes. Mr. Humphrey? Aye. Mr. Proud? Yay. Thank you all. God bless.